so hello everyone good morning so i am a, a shy and introvert girl from my childhood so i always prefer to go in a comfort zone so that those things started from my childhood as well so i always uh, have a best friend whom i feel comfortable so usually i talk to her only i don't prefer to talk with other people so the the things will be same for my college life as well in the college i joined one group we are four people pooja himanshu janesha so i i was i feel more comfortable with those people so i won't talk with others so that's how what happened i won't able to make bonds with others i was like i lack with the self confidence like i can't talk with others because you know in college life i didn't feel that it will giving me a negative effect but later on i realized that those things are not good we need to talk with others as well though we are in a group we are enjoying with ourselves i really enjoyed my college life with those people we go out for the dinners we go to the parties we shop a lot we go for the movie so that was the best time i forgot to uh develop other skills for example like uh, confidence and all because whenever i got a chance to talk to other people i usually avoid it so that's how then after my college life i joined the a corporate for a job so i i also remember that when i joined fis in 2017 so it was my first presentation and uh, that one we have to give to our client manager client manager and she is from the us so i have i have done a very hard work there i have prepared one website for that it was too good everyone was praising me but when it came to the presentation and i have started so i have given a presentation of around 15 20 minutes and after that when the presentation ended there was a tester whose name is sagar he came to me and he was he said like bachcha why you were screaming a lot and why you were rushing and I, it it feels i and now i'm laughing but that time i feel very sad because i, I feel hurted because he really um, told the thing in front of many people and suddenly so i was really shocked so i feel very bad but i feel bad for two days three days but i didn't take it very seriously i decided this is not the place for me i would uh, continue this job and then after some times i left that job i uh, then again i joined another organization but uh, they are uh, things are also you know because uh, we we are going office so i make bond with some of the people and they are the client is also they are in house so i don't need to give any presentation to anyone that's how my comfort zone again build up so i didn't learn anything i was just continue doing my job then i got married so then my husband has seen that that i prefer to stay in a comfort zone so he pushed me to learn something he pushed me that i can do something better stop always living in a comfort zone i should take challenges i can improve so then he pushed me that it's already because there the the other two major disadvantage was there though i was in challenging thing and also technology wise also the tech, because i spent almost 3 years there so technology is also getting old so then i started searching new jobs and luckily i found a very good job after that but from there the main problem started because there because now the covid time is there so we can't communicate with the people we are not going office so uh, virtually uh, you have to speak otherwise how you will make bond with others so it's very difficult for me because i am not able to find anyone whom i can speak nowadays in it industry they are following scrum structure so every morning you have to give your status whenever it comes to my turn my heart beat goes faster i'm i feel self anxious worked hard for the whole day but when it come to the status it was like i haven't done anything for me i always like please please don't call my name otherwise i <laughs> it was very difficult for me do it so one or two line everybody is giving normally when it comes to me i don't know how i gave that my husband always told me that uh, you worked hard for your organization and when it comes to the status what happened to you why you want to give your proper status it's a normal thing and i was like i don't know because of that the 
the i i got frustrated the whole week i was in a depression when i joined this organization then after that some time passed we i continue like this i try to read some books i try to see some youtube but though it doesn't help me so then my husband said you can go and find out some training for you you can do it i will i guess so then i come across some google website i have talked to many people but i didn't feel satisfied with them because earlier also in my college day i joined some uh, you know english speaking course that time that time i can say i was not that mature so i didn't take it seriously i joined but i went there for only one or two days after that i said oh i can do it myself something like that so i thought this time i'm very serious i really want to learn something so then i um, i think on the cora i find out about revent academy so i called him we talked then i discussed every every problem with him like whenever i talk i feel stressful i deliver the things in rush so i am not satisfied i am feel depressed sometimes because of that but is giving really nicely they are presenting very well and if when it come to me i can't do i don't know what happened to me suddenly everything got changed for me then he motivates me that i can also do better in my life and uh, her voice was very inspiring for me so that day i decided yeah, i'll go for a training previously i was confused that should i go or not because so many thoughts were coming either it's a money waste or something like that but then i decided no i can i can invest on myself join this academy uh, some classes i feel yeah i am feeling confident now if suppose now if i need to give my status i'm seeing my improvement somebody asks who want to give status i'm like yeah i can give and i'm giving in a better way so it is helping me to improve it is helping me to do something better and uh, yeah in future i'm expecting if i do continue practice like this so i'll be become a better speaker i'll be more confident i'll be good in the presentation as well so it will help me in both ways in my general life as well as my professional life thank you and the message is if you want to do anything you can do the thing is you have to do you have to work hard for your whatever you want to do definitely want to recommend raven as he is a very good motivator he is a very good speaker if you feeling low and you think you cannot do it you should speak to raven he will motivate you that you can do anything yes